One of the most significant discoveries in physics is that light exhibits both particle and wave-like behavior. Heinrich Hertz first observed a phenomenon that demonstrated the particle nature of light, known as the photoelectric effect. Albert Einstein later explained this effect in a groundbreaking theory that earned him the Nobel Prize and laid the foundation for quantum physics. The photoelectric effect occurs when light strikes a material and light particles knock electrons off the surface of that material. I was amazed to discover that we can easily demonstrate this effect using a simple neon lamp. Neon lamps, typically known for emitting light, can also be used to detect light thanks to the photoelectric effect. A neon lamp consists of two electrodes inside a gas-filled bulb. When 60 to 90 volts is applied, the gas ionizes, allowing the electrodes to conduct, and the lamp lights up. By biasing the lamp just below its turn-on voltage, we can test the photoelectric effect. If electrons are released from the electrodes, they are drawn to the anode, causing the lamp to light up. Once the lamp is on, it remains lit because neon lamps have a much lower turn-off voltage because of hysteresis. Higher frequencies of light have more energy and can liberate more electrons. The energy can be calculated using Einstein's photoelectric equation. I'm not entirely sure what materials are used to make the electrodes in a neon lamp, but it seems they are mainly made up of metals such as nickel and iron and coated with barium oxide which apparently increases electron emission. The work function is the energy needed to release electrons from a material, and it is about 5 electron volts for nickel and 2 electron volts for barium oxide. Based on my calculations, a wavelength of 619 nanometers would liberate electrons from barium oxide and 248 nanometers is enough for nickel. We can use a prism to split sunlight into its component colors and see which color turns the lamp on. It appears that the neon lamp lights up in the orange portion of the spectrum, indicating that the electrodes may be coated with a material like barium oxide, which reduces the work function. Here's a neon lamp blinker circuit that utilizes the photoelectric effect. The lamp is biased near its turn-on voltage. When exposed to light from a purple LED, the resulting current activates a transistor which turns on a relay. The relay then disconnects the neon lamp from its power source, turning off the relay and restarting the cycle. And here's a circuit that doesn't use any mechanical relays, and it just uses two neon lamps to create an A-stable multivibrator. Here's a photoelectric relaxation oscillator that uses a single neon lamp. A large resistor is used to charge a capacitor placed in parallel with the lamp. When the voltage across the capacitor reaches a level high enough, the lamp lights up and discharges the capacitor until it drops to the lamp's turn-off voltage. When the lamp turns off, the capacitor stops discharging and the process repeats. Because the voltage is set slightly below the lamp's normal turn-on point, light is needed to initiate the process.